What's up, it's your boy Carcino, and we're back again. And to let it be known that um, it's shocking us. It's shocking to me that the Los Angeles Lakers are willing, this desperate and willing, to get four years of greatness, four years of ticket sales, of trying to get back to title contention that they would flush their future down the drain meaning that because of LeBron James the team is entertaining the facts of trading two players Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram and ruining their future with their nucleus but what baffles me is that Lonzo Ball is not mentioned at all in any trade. In none of the deals, Lonzo Ball's name has not been mentioned. Now, here's the thing that I'm saying. A uh, counter offer to try to keep their draft pick. They didn't say, well, you know what? We'll throw in Lonzo. How about that? We'll throw you in Lonzo Ball and we'll keep the draft pick. That probably would get them Kawhi Leonard. The Lakers are more concerned about losing two first round draft picks. That's the sticking point. The Kyle Kuzma and Ingram part was not. Remember, I told you they wanted those two weeks ago. ESPN is like telling you today. But yet, everybody copies them, right? Now, here's some other news for you. Why isn't Lonzo Ball mentioned? Lonzo had a decent rookie season. He played 50-some games last year. Um, You know, he... You know, averaged barely 10 points if he did. I know he had about seven assists a game and about seven rebounds. You know, he he was active. He averaged about a steal a game, almost two. You know, it's not bad for a rookie year, but when you're supposed to be like the guy, your free throw shooting percentage is below 50%. Um, lack of engagement around the ring, attacking the rim, but has like zero finishing ability once he gets near the rim. I mean, it's all this room for improvement is there. But the fact that the Lakers think that this guy, Lonzo Ball, is worth Kyle Kuzma and Ingram, who both average 16 points a game, you know, respectfully. And as far as like assists per game, they were too busy scoring. They so they were gonna get you about two, three assists, but as far as rebounding, um you know, you got um Randall who was dominating on that side and Lonzo would help out there because that's basically what he was doing. These guys had other roles. You know, Kuzma almost got you seven. He's giving you 16, seven, and uh, with about two assists. He's a score. You know, Ingram's giving you 16, five, and three, or five and four, rather. And you thinking about trading them with no hesitation? So when you see that happening and you see these type of transitions happening in the league, it kind of echoes something, doesn't it? What's wrong with this league? What's wrong with people? 
Why would you try to get rid of your future and flush it down the toilet? These guys were your building blocks. Now you want to trade away your building blocks for something temporary. Now when Ingram and Kuzma develop into something and they're in the all-star games playing for another team and the Lakers are back without LeBron and they're not in the finals contention anymore and they're back to being just the worst team in basketball. Y'all going to remember this time. Remember this video. Go back to it where the Lakers traded their future away. Hoping that Lonzo Ball becomes what they want him to be. But we got guys who proven that they can play in this league. Raw talent, we're just going to just throw that to the wayside. And use it for trade bait to get name recognition. And then you wonder why Golden State keeps winning. I'm out.